Man, I bet you won't lick that pole. Yeah, I bet you won't lick it, man. I double on. dog dare you. No, that's stupid. Come on. I triple dog dare you. All right, fine, I'll do it. Do it, yeah. do it. You gotta shoot the husky TV. Guys, guys, go, 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 Happy holidays and welcome to the December edition of Husky TV. Your news source for what's happening around MRHS. My name is Mario. And I'm Jason. Husky, husky TV, TV starts now. now. One of our favorite holiday traditions is the annual door decorating contest. Let's take a look at this year's creations. What up, I'm Raf, and every December a proud holiday tradition takes place, and that is the door decorating contest. Each classroom has the opportunity to get their creativity flowing and make their door the best and most festive it can be. We actually started, um, before I taught here, I taught in Middletown South, and we did something like it there, and I thought it was amazing, and it took me being a couple of years here to actually bring it here and get it started. We've kind of taken it and ran with it and made it our own. So I don't know, all, all good ideas are stolen. And this one was stolen from Middletown South High School. Teamwork plays a very, very big role because, of course, you can't do go through anything without having help from some people. So, yeah. The perfect door, I would have to say, would be something around Santa Claus or the Grinch. Something around, something like that. It'd be the best. I'd like everybody to know that I have nothing to do with who wins. Mr. Capara has nothing to do with who wins. The teachers walk around and vote, and then we just count the votes, and that's the end of it. Thanks to the upcoming holiday season, many people will be shopping, prepping, cleaning, and most definitely baking. So if you're struggling to find the right sweet treat, check out this segment of Amanda and Bailey's Kitchen. I'm Amanda, and I'm going to be showing you a holiday dessert for any holiday. The ingredients we're going to use are melting chocolates, pretzels, and M&Ms, but you can use any toppings you want. And we're going to be putting it in this tray with wax paper. So now we're going to put a pot of water on the stove and heat it up. Now you're going to put a bowl over the boiling water to create a double boiler. So now we're going to put the milk and put it in. Then you're going to mix the chocolate until it's all smooth. Now we're going to take the melted chocolate and put it in the tray. Now we're going to sprinkle the toppings, and you could put any toppings you want. Now that we got the toppings on, we're going to put it in the freezer for about 20 to 30 minutes or until it's done. Once you take it out of the freezer, you take it out of the wax paper and you break it and serve it. And this is the final product. Now it's time for our man on the street with Mark Griglia. Hi, I'm Mark Riglia, and welcome to the December edition of Mark on the Street. Today I'm going to be walking around and asking people if they know the eight original reindeer. The eight original reindeer. 
Prancer, Dancer, Dixon, Donid, Donner, Comet, Cupid. You can do it! Something and put something. Excuse me. Can you uh, name the eight original reindeer? Rudolph. Reindeer. Rudolph. <laughs> Rudolph's not original. Can you name the eight original reindeer? Prancer, Dancer, Cupid, Vixen, Kame, Rudolph. There's Rudolph. Rudolph's not original reindeer. Uh, Rudolph? Rudolph's not original. Rudolph? Rudolph is not original. Everyone's starting to bother me. Asher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donard, Blitzen. Um, there's Dasher, Prancer. Um. He wasn't ready. That's it. That's all I know. He wasn't ready. Um, Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donard. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, and Blitzen. Gold. No, I can't. No. No, I can't. And that's all we have for today. Thank you for joining me on Mark in the Street. And now the eight original reindeer are... Now there's Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen. Comet and Cupid and Donder and Blitzen. But do you recall the most greatest reindeer of all? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names. They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. The end. <laughs> we have a very special treat for you. Let's throw it over to our colleague, Mike Q, and the McHugh Factor. Caution, you are about to enter the Husky Zone. The Factor begins now. Today on the McHugh Factor, we have the Matawan basketball varsity captain, Patrick Hennessy. So Pat, how does it feel to be the senior captain on the Matawan basketball team? Uh, it's really an honor, especially considering all the past captains we've had, especially since I've been in high school. Uh, day in and day out, knowing that the coaches trust me, putting me in charge of everybody, uh, it's really a privilege. And um, I really just hope I can set a good example for years to come for the younger players. So Pat, do you have any pregame rituals? Uh, yeah, usually before the games, probably like a half hour before we take the floor, uh, I try to find a nice quiet spot in the locker room by myself where I just listen to music and uh, I usually eat a banana or something just to get, get some energy for the game. How do you train during the off offseason? Uh, well, the season usually ends in March, so starting in March, uh, every kid tries to find an AAU team that you can compete on in the spring and the summer. And then once the summer starts, when we can start having workouts, we usually get in the gym three to four times a week, get, getting shots up, running over plays. Uh, and then we enter summer leagues towards usually the end of August, mm -hmm. and then starting in September, October, we do ball league and then workouts during then too. And then um, right before the season starts, we usually try to get in the weight room a couple times a week, you know, just to get stronger before the season starts. And then we usually we start off like the last week in November. <laughs> Here at Madawan, we were visited by a very special guest, Olympic fencer and bronze medalist, Monica Axamit. And we were lucky enough to catch an interview with her. So Monica, how did it feel when you found out that you qualified for the Olympics? When I qualified, I mean, I honestly didn't believe it for the longest time um, because it was obviously something I went after since I was 14 and the fact that I was able to accomplish it after a very, very hard four years. It was incredible. I, like I said, I, I asked people to pitch me for like weeks on end. What was it like stepping onto the mat the first time? Stepping into my match, um, I was <laughs> incredibly nervous, knowing that um, millions of people were watching back home, my mom, my family, my friends, um, my coaches on the sideline, my teammates, knowing that we had a huge lead that I could uh, blow. I 
I panicked hardcore. Um, I had to make a game plan to be ready. I've been in stressful situations before, maybe not this stressful, um, but I just went in with a plan, confident with it, and just tried to take it from there. How did it feel when you received your bronze medal? Another indescribable feeling. Um, it was, you know, these medals are just kind of like the concrete evidence of everything you've accomplished and um, ultimately, I don't know, I don't think I really need the medal as much as like being able to call myself a bronze medalist, um, but it was it's just like that, that evidence that I can hold on to and always look back on knowing that these 17 years that I've put everything into it, my time, blood, sweat, sacrifice, all that has paid off and ultimately it's what I was supposed to be doing. It looks like that's all the time we have today for The Factor. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, I'm Mike McHugh. Our Students Personnel Services Department, SBS, is a vital resource for all students at MRHS. This edition of Counselor Corner will shed light on this dedicated staff and the poor work they do. Currently, we're still uh, meeting with all of our students. All the counselors are meeting with the students to make sure that they feel comfortable here in the school. So they're making sure that emotionally they feel safe and secure and that any anxieties can hopefully be calmed down so then that way the guidance counselor, all the school counselors can work on making sure the students are working up to their academic potential so they can get the grades that they can ultimately earn and that they deserve. Tonight we have a, a financial aid night. It's going to talk about different steps to making sure you can receive as much financial aid as possible. In January, we have a junior parent information night that's coming up to give parents a heads up on what to expect for applying to jobs and if students are going to go into college, the steps for going into college. As holiday present to you, this show features not one, but two Man on the Street videos. Here's Miranda Allen with Miranda on the Street. Hi, I'm Miranda Allen, and welcome to a very special edition of Miranda on the Street. Can I ask you a question? What's your favorite thing about the holidays? Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie? That's a good answer. That's a good answer. Thank you. What is your favorite thing about the holidays? Going home for a break. I second that. What's your favorite thing about the holidays? Spending time with your family. What's your favorite thing? The presents. What about you? The food. All good answers, all good answers. Thank you so much. We would like to know, what's your favorite thing about the holidays? The food. Me too, me too. Oh look, a person. Hi. I want to know, what's your favorite thing about the holidays? Football. That's what I'm talking about. Good answer, good answer. Being with family. Um, I guess the food's pretty good. Yeah, that's what I said too, the food. What's your favorite thing about the holidays? Uh, getting great gifts. Great gifts. This is Miranda Allen coming live to you at MRHS. Stay classy, Madawan. Hi, everyone. I just want to take this opportunity to wish everyone a happy holidays and a happy new year. We're looking for some uh, great things to happen in 2017 from our student body in academics, athletics, and all of our extracurricular activities. So have a very restful winter break, and we'll see everybody in January. Take care. Thanks for watching. And tune in next time for another edition of Husky TV. And have, have a, a happy, happy new, new year. year. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. I was just reading a book about the week before winter break. Wait a minute. You've never heard the story of the week before winter break? Well, I'd be more than happy to share it with you. <clears throat> Twas the week before Christmas, winter break to be exact, and everyone's holiday spirit was well and intact. Room 420 threw a party and everyone was there. However, a certain Mark Wa Riglia didn't seem to care. Why can't we just go through already? 
I know we're stuck here until the snowballs come, but that doesn't mean I have to be happy. Bah, Excuse the interruption. Mark Riglia, please report to Mr. Wells' office immediately. So Mark, I called you down here. It's almost 2017, and you still haven't signed up to take the SATs. Is there a reason? I don't want to. What do you mean you don't want to? And in that moment, Mr. Wells was fed up. He knew Mark didn't care, so he slammed down his cup. I don't want to take the SATs. You know what? Get out of my office. Mark walked past the science labs, cafeteria, and the locker room stench when he decided to take a nap on a senior lounge bench. Who are you? I am the ghost of educational past. Do you even realize what an opportunity you're giving up here, Mr. Mark? Uh, no, no. Ever since the early days of America, it's been a privilege to go to school. Why? You're so lucky. Hey, man. Don't tell me what to do. Fine, you don't want to see the other guy. Oh, my God. Are you the other guy? Oh, you're scary. What's that? My high school diploma? One more year. Oh no! Are you okay? I heard you screaming from down the hall. It's like you saw a ghost or something. Uh, ghost? That's crazy. Do you know where I can sign up for the SATs? Yeah! Sure, follow me! Right. And that day, Mark was visited by two spirits. And they had advice. And boy, did he hear it. He learned a new lesson this holiday season, and it's plain to see. Before the new year, sign up for your SATs.